I praise him for how he taught fit to choose me to live for him in the last and evil days when he didn't have to. I praise him tonight, hallelujah, because I know him as a healer, a keeper, and a way maker. I know him tonight, hallelujah, as giving you your heart desire. I praise him, hallelujah, glory be to your name, dear Jesus. You know, the enemy tried to attack my body on the um, uh, Pentecostal, Yes, Pentecost Sunday, you know, and I was just so hyped up from the message through the week um, from Elder Murray. And I tell you, and I was just telling different ones on that Saturday night. I said, I just can't wait till tomorrow. I just can't wait till the morning and see what it's going to be like. You know, I just can't wait till the morning. And do you know that morning when I woke up, the room was just going. And I closed my eyes, you know, and I thought, what is this? And I... Open my eyes again, and it was just going. And I, I woke my husband, and I said, something is happening to me that I, I've never experienced anything like this before. And um, anyway, and I was telling God, I was laying, I was telling God, I said, Lord, you got to come in now. I've got to go to church this morning. I've got to go to church, remember. You know, I'm reasoning with God. But anyway, do you know, have it to be, I, I spent all day that Sunday in the emergency room. But in a way, you know, God blessed me. They just kept, Miss Wilkins, you're not in pain? You're not in any pain? I told them, no. I had no pain at all. I just didn't have any balance. I couldn't, I didn't have my balance. And I had this condition, they told me, uh, they called vertigo. And that causes you to lose your uh, balance and your, uh, you'd be dizzy and nauseous and all this stuff. But in a way, do you know, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to your name. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you know what? I, I just praise God because I was home that Monday evening, you know. I thank God that he, I didn't get to make Pentecost Sunday, but I tell you, he had blessed my soul that Thursday night. And I just kept thinking how he was blessing me so, you know. And I... Hallelujah, and he just let me know, you know, that I didn't miss my blessing. I didn't miss my blessing. He, he had given me my blessing ahead of time. And I just praise God, hallelujah, for my soul's salvation, for placing me here where I can be taught how to believe God for my healing, how to believe God, you know, for my, to meet my needs and everything. I, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I just praise him tonight, and I just desire the saints to pray much for me and my family. You know, I was just sitting down thinking, you know, how good God is and how good he is and how good he make you feel. You know, I was a young man that, that grew up in the projects. You know, I thought the only way I could make it, I was, was play basketball and go to the professional level and just, you know, make money for my family. That's what a lot of kids think because it's so much crime. You know, I grew up just, that was my dream, just playing 24 hours a day. You know, got, got pretty good at it, but I was just thinking about, you know, how good God make you felt, feel how we were just praising God a few minutes ago. You know, I was in the Dallas Morning newspaper three or four times a week, you know, but it's, 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 it's nothing compared to what I was feeling a few minutes ago. You know, I had channel four, five, eight, and 11 in my face taking pictures of me. I was very popular in the world, you know, but as I was thinking a few minutes ago, it was nothing like that feeling like I felt a few minutes ago, and we was praising God. You know, I praise and magnify God. You know, I know I'm in the perfect will of God. Um, I never forget uh, when I when I had started started playing basketball, I wanted to go pro. And you know, I was I was good enough to play because I was I had been playing with the guys in the NBA ever since I was in the in the twelfth grade. You know, and I was just as good as I was just good as all of them I played against. And lo and, lo and behold, you know, uh, God kept opening doors and doors kept, you know, I guess the devil kept opening doors and God kept closing the doors. You know, devil, devil opened up and nothing and God would, would close them. But I praise and magnify God. I remember the last time I went and tried out, I was going to go to California and play against Magic Johnson now. And we had about 200 guys that went to Abilene and tried out. And I had two guys of my roommate. I know I was in the perfect will of God then. Me and them were just, just sitting up talking, you know, and they was telling me, they said, you know what, Shannon? One thing we know, that you're going to make it. You done, you done made the team. You know, the guy said, you played good enough to make the team. I said, okay, I, I think I did play good enough to make it. And you know what? 
Lo and behold, they made the team and I didn't. You know, God sent me home. He didn't want me to go. Send me to the, send me to the crib. Everybody say the crib. Send me to the crib. But you know what? He had, he had something in store for me. He had something in store for me. Never forget, I went to a nightclub. God had started dealing with a man came in with a shotgun. That was my last time I went to a nightclub. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be like that when, when, when God come back. You know, people was dancing and all that. It was 105 degrees. A man came in with a long coat. And I was sitting over there. By the time he turned that way, I was out the door. Everybody was still dancing. You know, ain't nobody going to come in the, in the nightclub 105 degrees with a big old long coat on. So he put out a shotgun. So God started dealing with me, and, and God spoke to me one time and said, well, this is it. You know, this is it, what he mean to me, the way he condemned my heart, was that this was the last opportunity that I was going to have to get saved. And let me remind you, I didn't do a whole lot in the world. I just had started going out. Now, I know if God give me a deadline, he'll give other people a deadline too. But, you know, I praise and magnify God for his goodness. His loving kindness, his amazing grace, you know, took away the desire. And, you know, I have never felt like I felt a few minutes ago. The world can't, can't make you feel that way. It can't be nothing but the Holy Ghost. You know, ain't no way the world make you feel that way. You know, and I thank and praise God. I got a, got a made-up mind, you know. A uh, lot done blessed me with some of my desires. Got a wife, you know, two boys, love my boys, you know. And God has been really good. He got my life kind of lined out right. And I just praise God for just having the mind to serve him in the last and evil days. Pray my strength in God. Thank God for coming into my life one day, saving me, sanctifying me, filling me with the Holy Ghost. I was a young man. I didn't always have that testimony. I was bound by many ungodly things. And like Brother Murphy was saying, I was one of those young men that used to love to dance and party. It's kind of like Elder Coleman so he used to slide across the dance room floor. And I used to do the same thing, you know, trying to get my boogie down. But I thank God for how he came into my life one day, gave me a new outlook on life. I used to be one of those young men that is coming back out now. If you turn on the TV and you can see it sometimes on, on different shows, how they're doing all this, you know, wild dancing. And they even got a movie coming out about it now, but it was called Break Dancing where you spin around on your hands and your head and your back and all that. And uh, the devil had me out there looking crazy doing all that stuff. Little did I know I could have really hurt myself or injured myself bad doing it, but that's just the way the devil have you bound. You don't really uh, think about the things that you're doing when you're out there. But I thank God for how my mother got saved up under this ministry. I, she witnessed to me. I'll never forget, I came to the church on a Saturday night and God really dealt with my heart. I came back that Sunday, and he saved me. But I just thank God for all that he's done for me. I no longer have a mind to, you know, worship the devil in dance. I can, I can worship God in my dance now. And when that music gets good, I just have a right to praise him now. I just thank God for all that he's done for me. I ask that you pray my strength in the Lord. Uh, truly, I praise God tonight that I'm set. Praise him that I'm saved, sanctified, and filled up with the Holy Ghost. I thank God for Apostle and Sister Mary and all you saints that interceded for me. I saw how God just lifted me up and raised me up. You know, the enemy just got mad. I began to cry to the Lord, Lord, take me high. Y'all remember women convention last year and the convocation. I said, Lord, take me higher. And this was just coming out of my soul. And the Lord said, seek me early. And I began to seek him early in the morning. I didn't know what was coming up on my body first. They said that it was the, uh, some, I, I forgot the name of that, but it was some type vessel in my body that had overstrained. But you know what? Oh, saints, I did not know what was going on in my body. Ooh, but I know God is a cancer specialist. Oh, praise him because he had done it for me before and I praise God. You know, this time the enemy hit me in four places. I had uh, four malignant cancers. Ooh, but Sister Mary came out there and she laid hands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She laid hands on me and you know what? God began to move so. I had a, I had a cancer in my lung, a uh, cancerous tumor. I had one in my breast area. I had one in my navel button. I had one in my toe. 
in my tailbone. But you know what? I believe and I know God is a miracle worker. Oh, praise him. You know I praise him tonight, saints, because he raised me up when I couldn't walk. I got where I couldn't walk. Ooh. God raised me up. I could just feel the saints' prayers, you know. It, I was just floating. I was just floating. The spirit of God would just overshadow me, you know. But you know what? God raised me up. I, ooh, he raised me up out of that bed to the wheelchair. Oh, praise him. Hallelujah. Ooh, ooh. He raised me up, and I got it from the wheelchair to the walker. And you know what? I was moving so fast, God had maneuvered that since Mary had laid hands on my leg. You know, I felt those heavy hands and the power of God. And you know what? Ooh, 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 praise him, y'all. My God, am I. Then I, I, I maneuvered on that walker, and then God got me up on the, the stick. I was on the cane. But you know, one day, I forgot about the cane. I ran to the restroom, ran off and left my cane. I've been walking ever since. I praise him. Woo, I praise him. Somebody in here tonight might need this testimony because you know what? When you say cancer, people just draw up. You know they was going to send hospice home with me. I told Sister Mary, I said, they want to send hospice home with me. She said, Sister Evan, you don't need no hospice. I said, I sure don't. I didn't need that because, you know, they were getting ready to send me on out of here. But you know what? The doctor said, when you want to come back? He said, you want to come back in two months or three months? And God was moving so fast. I said, I guess I better go back in two months. And when I went back, the man was looking at me. He was just smiling and looking at me. He said, you are doing fantastically well. He said, far above what we expected. And I said, oh, y'all expected me to die, didn't you? He said, yeah. He said, you need to go to your church and t oh, praise him. I just want to thank the Lord for being here this morning. For truly, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I, I'm, I'm so glad to be saved this morning. See, I was a young man running the streets of Dallas, didn't have a mind to live for God, didn't have a mind to even come to church. But one day, God, uh, we, it was a funeral over here, full gospel holy temple. And I had to come to that funeral that day. And I had promised in my heart that I, didn't, I would never go on a visit to holiness church again. You know, because I used to, once was a part of holiness. But I knew that it was deliverance at a holiness church. And I promised in my heart that I wasn't going to go. But you see, it was my brother's funeral. And I had to come that, that Saturday morning. I had to come. I, I fought it, but I couldn't go. I, you know. Before I came to the funeral, I tried to smoke some dope. But the Lord took the taste out of my mouth. I couldn't smoke. I tried to drink some alcohol to try to get some nerve to come, but you know, I couldn't hold that stuff down. And as I made my way over and I came into the church, amen, it seemed like somebody was watching me. You know, I, I, I just felt like some eyes was on me and it wasn't human eyes, you know, and I was just got nervous and I came on down into the service and the man of God began to preach and I never will forget the message that he preached that Saturday morning he was preaching a message about we spend our years as a tale that is told and you know as he began to minister and, and, and tell me about the tale I was telling uh, he told me everything that I, I was doing and everything I had done and he began to prick me in my heart see I was a mean person I was I had a stony heart. You know, I didn't have, like I said, I didn't have a mind to live for God. But as the man of God began to break the bread of life and begin to minister the word of God down in my heart, God came in and gave me a new heart. He gave me a heart of flesh. You know, I found myself down before that casket, raising my hands and speaking in another tongue. I didn't know what I was saying, but I was speaking in another tongue. And you know, I know God delivered me that Saturday morning. Because when I went home that Saturday morning, I threw away all my dope. I pulled all my alcohol out. Threw away everything that wasn't like God. You know, I didn't come to the church that Saturday morning to be saved. But God had other plans for me. I'm just grateful to God this morning that God was merciful to me. Because I'd hate to think about where I would be today if I hadn't got saved. But I just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to God. 
I'm grateful for this ministry. I thank God for the great man of God that preached me. I didn't, look, when I saw that man, his eyes were like they was on fire. You know, God came in. But before God came in, you know, I was sitting there and, and I was sitting in my seat and, 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 and it seemed like God just moved on me. And it just seemed like a hand came down that aisle and just picked me up and took me out of that aisle. You know, I'm just grateful for the power of God and for a man that's standing up if, in this last day and hour preaching the word of deliverance. I just thank God and I ask you all to pray for me.